in our SPM, we have the English paper and there are two papers, am I right? Yes. Okay, now we have directed writing. Which paper is that in? One or two? One. One. Right, Shukrina, what is the total score for directed writing in the paper? 35. 35, yes, good. Okay, what are the different formats for directed writing? Anybody? Yes, Mahalil. Uh, article. Articles. Any other examples? Shakira? Informal letter. Informal letter, yes. Right. Anyone else? Report. Report. Okay. Um, anyone else? Yes. Uh, how about speech? Speech, yes. Okay. I want to focus on speech today. <laughs> Uh, this is my best class in Form 5 actually. I teach four classes and they are of high level English uh, proficiency. They are very active and participate in all my lessons. Right? Um, they, are, they have a high level of interest in English. So I hope that all of them will do well. Lokman, Hakim, Jani. Yes, teacher. What must you have in a speech? Introduction. Introduction. Yes, Dawis, you have something to say? Maybe it's greetings. Yes, greetings. Right. Um, yes, Hakim, you have something to say? Uh, how would you greet your audience? Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, uh, Putri Suraya, uh, you have something to say? Hello is inappropriate. Hello is inappropriate, right. Why do you say that it is inappropriate? Because it's informal. It's informal. So, um, what do you say when you greet your audience in a speech? Anyone? Good morning. Good morning, right. That's what you say in a speech because it's formal. Uh, you say hello, it's like just having a normal conversation, right? Speeches and talks address crowds on a particular topic, right? And a speech is formal. That's why when Hakim said hello, uh, Putri said that it was inappropriate. So we cannot use hello and Ifa said we use good morning. That is what you say. Uh, in an assembly maybe, during school assembly, if we have the principal and the teachers and the students, who comes first? Principal. principal. Right, okay. Now, in the format of the speech, the first thing that you do is you greet your audience. audience. Greet the important people first. Good morning to the principal, senior assistants, teachers and students. Right? Then the general public. Express your gratitude for being given the opportunity to speak. Lokman, um, if you are given the opportunity to speak during assembly, what would you say to show your gratitude? I would say something like, thank you for granting me or allowing me the chance to speak to you all. Okay, good. Thank you for granting me the opportunity to speak to you all, right? And then you have to introduce the topic of your speech. Can any of you give me examples of topics that we can use for our speech? Yes, Adani? Um, this morning, I would like to talk about on how to be a successful student. How to be a successful student. Okay, I want topics. Anyone can give me topics of a speech? Yes? How to be a smart consumer. How to be a smart consumer. So we have introduced the topic. State what you're going to talk about. Now, in the body of the speech, we have to use uh, all the main points or the content points given in the question, right? The total of the format and the content points is how many? How many marks is the content plus the format? 15 marks. 15 marks? Okay, we have 15 marks for the format and the content. Now, we cannot just state the content without elaborating, right? You have to give examples. So, you elaborate on the points and give examples in your speech. Now, we have to make sure that there is a flow in our speech. Okay? So to do that, we use... Anyone knows what we have to use? What do you see on the screen? What do we use? Sentence connectors. Right. I want examples of sentence connectors now. Who can give me an example of a sentence connector? Yes, Ali? First. First. Anyone else? Yes, Hanani. Then. Then, right. Anyone else wants to give me an example of a connector? 
Okay, very good. Kyra Zani. Uh, consequently. Consequently. Anyone else? Yes, Patricia Finas. Besides. Besides. Okay. Um, Kyra Nisa. In addition. In addition. Okay, good. Now, of course, we have to conclude the speech uh, at the end. Right? And finally, we have to thank our audience. Um, anyone can give us an example of how to thank the audience for listening to us? Any one of you? Oh yes, Pradaus. You uh, can give us an example of how you would thank the audience? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my gratitude. Thank you for bearing with me till the end of my speech. Thank you for bearing with me till the end of the speech. Right, anyone else? Okay, we have another student at the back there. What would you say? I would say thank you for lending me your ears. Right, thank you for lending me your ears. Okay, very good. I don't think that teachers should use the chalk and talk method because that is very traditional and students today are not interested in that kind of thing because uh, I think they are IT savvy. They do a lot of um, serving the internet. Yeah, most of them um, have a lot of knowledge. So we have to um, make them use their higher order thinking skills so we should use different strategies to carry out our lessons so that they will be interested. To improve the standard of English, we have to come up with different ways um, to teach these students, not just give them the rules and ask them to just do exercises. That is also important, but um, to make sure that they improve and be, are involved in the lesson, we should come up with different strategies. I want to give you some general tips on what you have to pay attention to during um, the speech. Okay, when you're writing a speech, you have to use the simple present tense. When I'm talking to you now, am I using the present tense or the past tense? Present tense, present tense of course. Okay, then you, if possible, use short sentences. Because the longer sentences you write, the more mistakes you make. Okay, so you explain in detail what you want to say, but try to use short sentences, right? And then avoid flowery language. We use lots of adjectives and flowery language in our continuous writing, not in directed writing. Okay? Maybe we can put in some idioms or proverbs. If we are talking about how to live a healthy lifestyle, we can say health is wealth. If we're talking about examinations, your examination is just around the corner. So you should do your revision. Right, class? Yes. yes. Okay. And finally, before you end your speech, that's in writing, eh? You can check for grammatical mistakes, spelling errors, as well as punctuation errors because all this will uh, help you in getting better marks for language. All right? In this part of the lesson, I went through the different parts by using the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so students had a chance to uh, see what was on the screen in the introduction, what they have to do, what they have to say. I gave them tips on uh, what they have to do in the presentation where they will have to use simple present tense, don't use long sentences, uh, the different grammatical items that we have to concentrate on uh, in a speech, what are the different sentence connectors that they can use to show cohesion and cohesiveness in their writing. This is what we're going to do today. The task for today. Alright? Anybody would like to read the question for us? Yes, Lokman. Loud and clear please. You recently won the Best Student Award in your school. You have been asked to give a talk during assembly to share tips with the other students on what they need to do, uh, uh, what they need to do so that they too can become successful students. Use the following notes to write your speech. Okay, so the topic of the speech that you have to write in groups today is how to be a successful student. Now, these are the points given for the content, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember I said that format and content uh, makes up a total of 15 marks? Yes. Okay, Amira, how many content points do I have on the screen? 10 points. points. 10 points, yes. 10 points is given on the screen now, but there should be a total of 12, right? All right, I've distributed the handouts to you with the question task that you have to carry out is to write the different paragraphs, right? Now, I'm going to distribute mahjong paper and markers first. Okay, take one.
beloved principal Datin Parida binti Ahmad, senior assistant, teachers and friends. On this glorious morning, I, Nofarhin binti Nohasmat, the recipient of this year's Best Student Award, am going to give a talk on how to become a, su a successful student. In my speech, I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can be a successful student. Okay, very good. Thank you, Farihin. Give her a hand. Okay. What I like the most about Teacher Aina is uh, she's very friendly and very motherly like. She treats us like her own family, her own kids. And we're, I feel like we're just like one big family. We're all happy together and then we make jokes and laugh around. We, we learn at the same time, but yeah, we, we, have, um, we have fun. If you want to be a successful student, you Slow must down. set goals. Research shows that people who set goals accomplish more than those who do not. In deciding your goals, ask yourself, what do I want to be? And what do I do to get there? Besides, you must be motivated. When you are motivated, you will have a strong desire to do well and to achieve your goals. In addition, you must pay it paying attention in class. Listen actively and focus on what the teacher is teaching. If you have disruptive classmates, sit in front of the class, away from them. Always ask questions if you do not understand. Seek clarification from your teachers and your friends if you are shy to approach the former. Okay, thank you. You want to give her a hand too? It helps you understand and remember the information. You must prepare well for exams. A successful student is one who prepares for exam well in advance and not at the 11th hour. If you study consistently, you will have ample time for revision. Okay. Thank you, Izati. Now, can you tell me, where is the part where you have used an idiom here? Izati? At the 11th hour. That means at the last minute. Okay? So for the fourth paragraph, it says, Friends, to be, to be a successful student, you must have, a, you must have diverse interests. You should take part in co-curricular activities in order to become a well-rounded person. These activities help develop leadership skills and teamwork besides instilling values like cooperation and tolerance. Discipline is an important aspect of our lives. No matter where or what you do, you will be subjected to rules and regulations. Hence, it is crucial that you obey the school rules. Okay, thank you very much, Lokman. Good. The teacher was very informative. The lesson was pretty good. It was pretty enjoyable. Uh, there was a bit of funny moments between me and my friends. Uh, the presentation was, in my opinion, really the best part. Each one of us took time. We got out. We, speak, we, we spoke. Uh, and ultimately, it was it was it was a fun time. Yeah, I I, I think I I can't really say for all, but I can say without that most of us enjoyed what we learned today. Uh, hi, I'm going to elaborate the next point. The tenth point, which is respect everyone. Okay, uh, why is success if you like the common courtesies in life? Remember, you must respect everyone. You should respect your parents, your teachers, the school staff, and also your friends. You must respect other people's feelings and opinions too. Uh, that's all because uh, it's quite short because we only have one point here. Okay, thank you very much, Hanani. <laughs> We all brainstorming and we will discuss our ideas on the papers. Uh, if we have misunderstandings, uh, we will talk, we will post out our misunderstandings and my classmates will help me to understand the more about the lesson. Before we wrap up for today, don't forget in the speech you have to greet the audience, introduce the topic, give the main points, elaborate and cite examples and of course you must have your Conclusion. Now, make sure you keep this in mind because for your homework, you have to write the speech for me. So that's all for today. Thank you very much, class. Okay? The majority of them read a lot. Uh, they're interested in online games, um, animation. So actually, um, 
all these things that they do online involves English. Sometimes they don't speak enough. So they should maybe improve their speaking skills. But I think because of their um, knowledge in the language, it actually helps them to improve their English other than reading. Thank you.